What's good, BB family? We are back at it with another video, and we got a um nice little haul today. Not too many hats. I, w I was outside at my fittings. I ain't go to NoHo. I should have went to NoHo because they ended up shock dropping some shit that I wanted. But <clears throat> yeah, we gonna get into we gonna get into the haul. So we got a nice little my fittings three piece. Nice little my fittings three piece right here. And I'm not gonna lie, this first hat when I seen it online, I was just like. Eh. I like the lo the logo was cool. Like I thought the logo was dope. I thought the little patch was was nice too. But it was like the way the color blocking of this crown, like this kind of like this tricolor shit. Like you know, this burgundy here, and then the tan back here, and then the green here. So instead of a two tone, it's like a tri tone type of shit. I guess you can call it. But having it in hand, it's actually really not that bad. Like this is actually nice. I kind of I like this. Like, and another thing about this. Before I get into all the details or whatever, this is gray. Oh nah, the more I look at this crown, the more I'm just like, holy shit, sign else. John Jay don't do black gutters. What the fuck is this? John Jay? A black sweatband, bro? What? Alright, let's go let's get into this crown. So here we got the Fresno Grizzlies. <coughs> it's a minor league squad, obviously, because that's what John Jay loves to do he likes to do a lot of minor leagues but check out this logo it says fresno grid i like the like the like the slash from like the claws of a bear that that's kind of dope I'm not gonna lie that's kind of dope we got the red in the front the green with the that's gold stitching around it yeah we got a green on the letters with like a gold outline and then a white outline around that it's nice nice subtle touches on that and then the slash from like the the bear scrape i guess you call it so, or bronze that's tough that's tough and then we got like the lime green where it says fresno um you got the grizzly on the side throwing a baseball on the mound that's fire the gold mound that's tough this yo yo nah yeah y'all slept y'all definitely slept uh raised batty with the red on the green minor league joint this got me fucked up i didn't even notice this legit until now that's crazy that's crazy. But what I was going to say was when I was in the car and when I was outside, like walking to the car, I guess it was since it was just so bright, I couldn't really tell what color. It looked icy. I'm not going to lie. It looked icy, but here it looks gray. I don't know. Let me know what you think this is. It's it's clearly gray, but I don't know. Something about what the, when it hits the light, I don't know. It's like a different color. It's crazy. But yeah. But yeah, oh, oh, before we continue, I don't want to see no comments talking about my hair. I know I need a fucking haircut. Shut the fuck up. Leave me alone. Like, I'm going I'm to get a cut. Yes, I'm going to get a cut. Let me rock, though. We on, let's get money season. I, I haven't had no time for nothing else, really. I've been actually busy as shit with my other bullshit. But here we have, I actually posted this hat on my story yesterday. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and grab this. I, I, I've I been into my NBA hats. I've always liked NBA hats. But here we have the Atlanta Hawk from My Fitteds. So we got like the khaki crown. What this is, I believe this logo, this, uh, this Atlanta Hawk logo was used in the 90s. And from my understanding, Mitchell and Ness has all the rights to the hardwood classic designs. So they use all the designs of all these basketball teams, like whatever logo, like whatever logo, it doesn't matter which one. But whenever New Era is gonna make an NBA hat, it has to be either be, or it has to be a current logo or a logo that they used in this, like in this season. So they use this logo at some point this season. It's not like their normal logo because this is their old school shit, but I guess they used this logo at some point last season. So New Era had to go ahead to go ahead and make the design. That was what I was told. You feel me? So don't take, I'm just telling y'all what was explained to me. So, but I thought that was dope because this is, this is a nice logo. It's big as shit. I'm not going to hold you. It's big as shit. It reaches the whole fr front end of the crown, but this is, I, I like this logo. The Hawk grabbing the basketball. Then we got the Atlanta on the top with purple. What is that? Purple, white, and like a sky blue. 
Oh yeah, I got a new ring light, and so far it's busting. I like this better than my old joint. On the side, we got another Atlanta Hawkum logo. The bronze go crazy. With a nice two-tone vibe on this crown. Khaki, royal blue, royal blue. On the back, now this one got me fucked up. It might be another logo. I don't. I, I'm a I'm a basketball guy, but I don't ever remember seeing this. It's cool too. Pichu V white sweatband. See, this is not, now we're going back to John Jay. That 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 whole black sweatband shit that caught me off guard for real. Why'd I put it back in the bag? Hold on. That black sweatband caught me off guard, y'all, for real. But yeah, another good crown, another good crown. I already told John Jay I need a Celtic hat. I need a Celtic one. If he's doing NBA hats, I need a Celtic one. Hat Club did me right with that with that pinky. And then my last pickup of the day, I wanted to spin back, y'all. I wanted to spin back to grab the other bison, but it was so hot. I ain't have the patience to be outside anymore. It was already, I was already annoyed too, because I, I got called pretty late. Like I, I got called late and still managed to touch everything I needed to touch, except the um, the Yosemite, the uh, athletic, the minor league one with the elephant on the front. That's the only one I didn't get to touch, but other, everything else I grabbed. This is the last one. We got the, is it Peak Peak Chicken? I'm pretty sure it's <laughs> Peak Peak Chicken. It's some type of Korean chicken. That's the inspo behind this hat. Remember the other bison I did? The black one, the corduroy two-tone. That was the, uh, what chicken spot was that? Fuck. I dead forgot, but you go to my Instagram page, you'll see what I'm talking about because, oh, Pelicana, Pelicana chicken. There we go. There we go. So we got the Pelicana chicken and now we got the Peak Peak chicken. Colors on this one are kind of, they're, they're interesting. They remind me of the red velvet, except this part, obviously, but it reminds me of the red velvet color where we got the pink, like a blush pink. Then we got like a light pink. Then we got a maroon in there. Check this out, y'all. Check this out. Sliding bison. You can't go wrong with a sliding bison, especially John Jay, because he knows how to make them. He knows how to make them right. All these other stores that I've been seeing dropping sliding bisons, I think I've liked. Besides Toppers, let's let's exclude Toppers, because Toppers does pretty pretty solid work as well. But yeah, no, no, I think I've seen maybe one bison from another store that I've thought was okay. John Jay though, no misses. So we got the B on the side. We like the. I guess a comment, baseball, I don't know, something like that. Whatever you want to call it. But this is like a light yellow, like a soft yellow, soft yellow crown, maroon um bill, maroon button to match, raised baddie with the boat with the pink and the maroon and that. Uh oh. There we go, there we go, there we go. White gut with like a hot pink UV. I haven't seen a UV like this. From John Jay, I feel like in a while. Maybe the Magic Treehouse 3.0 was the last time I seen it. Yeah, but this is this is a good one. Now, like I said, I wanted to grab the other one, but I don't I don't be having patience no more, y'all. I really don't. I really don't. But yeah, no, a couple good crowns, good little three piece. Oh, I actually got a pin today in the mail. Shout out my boy. Uh, shout out my boy. Stop and cap. I won one of his giveaways. He did like a. 5k follower giveaway and nigga gave out nigga gave out mad pins so this is the one that i got shout out my boy stopping cap yeah now y'all know how i feel about the iced out pins so i'm gonna definitely rock this soon so it's the iced out snc with the um the blue glitter inside the lettering so i'm gonna definitely rock this i already know what crown i want to rock this on too so definitely gonna rock that oh uh, let's go ahead into this fitted of the day because shout out rhino Cause he, he, when he saw this, he, he definitely had to, he definitely said something to me cause you don't see this hat often. This is from the magic tree house 1.0, the first point oh. if you wasn't outside and you wasn't outside. Cause I feel like people started to catch on around the 2.0s and on 1.0s though. You don't see, you don't see motherfuckers with the 1.0. So here we got the magic tree house 1.0 Atlanta Braves with the 2000 all-star game on the side patch. The metallic gold is crazy. You know, I got the gold BB on that, of course. Shout out my boy, Ed, the fittest sniper. Go ahead. Go ahead and grab that fittest sniper pin. 2000 ASG on the patch. Oh, the 20th Annie pin for my fitteds. Nice batterman. 
gold, orange, and the green, white gut. And this is like a brown, like a Cracker Jack brown type of UV we got here. Clean hat, clean hat. I'm glad I got it. You know, not, I don't see 1.0s often. I rarely ever see anybody post, let alone wear the 1.0. So it's good to see when people recognize it. It's good to see that niggas, the, the ones that were out, been outside. Like, it's good to, good to see that they know. But, um, yeah, you guys, uh, Soul to Soul Expo. That shit is next Saturday. Right? Yeah, facts. Next Saturday. So we're going to be outside. It's going to be a good time. I'm looking forward to meeting all of y'all. Hopefully my pins come in time because I'm going to be so sick if they don't come in time because I told these, this manufacturer I need them for this specific date. And they've these are the, this is the manufacturer that messed up my Celtic pins, messed up my 4th of July pins. Like I, Once they send me my shit, I, I'm, I'm going back to my old, my old, my old, um, manufacturer because they they never did me wrong they were just a little more a little bit more pricey but yeah they always got the job done and they never gave me no fucking issues like this company that i've been using but um yeah i appreciate y'all for watching if you like the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you're new to the channel you're definitely going to want to go ahead and subscribe we got more content on the way um posting a little bit late because i ended up getting home a little late and then by the time i got home i had to finish this assignment for class it was due in like <laughs> like an hour, but good to go. Got that done, handed in. So this class is complete. My new classes start Monday. We non-stop, y'all. We got to keep the grind going. You know what I'm saying? But I appreciate all y'all for watching. Um, Rollickbrims.com. Go ahead. We still got a few pins up on the site. We still got some hats up on the site. And yeah, I just want to make sure I, I tapped in with everything because there was something I wanted to show y'all, but I don't have it with me and I don't feel like getting up. But, oh, you know what I'm going to talk about real quick before I go? Shout out my motherfucking boy Fire Brims because no hold shot drop. The Ebbett Field Brooklyn Dodgers pinky, the royal the royal blue pinky, fire. I didn't get to touch that. Um, They shot drop. There's two-tone Mets, black and royal blue with the uh Subway Series, I believe. No, it, I think it was 2000. No, Subway Series. It was definitely the Subway Series. The 2000... Patch was the one online. Facts. And and they dropped the 2021 All-Star. No, not All-Star game. 2021 World Series Two-Tone Braves Pinky. The new patch. And shout out my boy Fire Brims because he secured for one for me. So that will be coming home. That if y'all knew, if y'all know me and y'all paid attention to my Instagram, y'all know that's the crown I've been waiting on. I've been waiting on that. It might come online and I didn't care. As soon as I seen it dropped, I was like, bro, I need it. And he secured it. So I'm happy. So stay tuned for that because that'll be coming in soon. Yeah, sometime next week. He said he's going to ship out Monday. So shout out my boy Fire Brims. I appreciate you, bro, for real, for real. And if, uh, I'm going to just have to wrap it up because I don't got the rest of this shit with me. But I'll make a new video for you guys to see tomorrow. Tomorrow. I got y'all. So thanks for watching, y'all. I'm out of here.